Welcome to another edition of Double Shot. I'm Jason Rance. That is Jake Skorheim. I got an email from a listener with uh, two photos of a storefront, mm -hmm. Bike Works Seattle, you see it on the screen right now, that decided to post a whole bunch of anti-Israel flyers, ceasefire now and apartheid, blah, 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 outside of their business. Uh, taking aside, obviously, I'm not a fan of that message as a Jew and as you know, just a human being who understands the difference between terrorism and other things. But pushing that aside, why do businesses or even like car owners who put bumper stickers on, mm -hmm. why do they feel the need to tell us where they stand politically? The, the, that's I, a, I don't get it. It's a great question. It's a great question. And I do think there is something like just in our society which rewards people uh, like I don't know why shop owners would do this, but I do think certain people will shop at certain shops mm -hmm. if they know that they reflect certain, you know, values that they might have. I understand why people do it on a back of a bumper, right? So like if somebody wants to post a, put a, a sports team that they support on the back of a bumper, or they That's say, different. if they say something, I don't, I just don't care what somebody puts on a bumper. It's their car. They're not mm -hmm. trying to sell me something. Yeah, fair enough. From a business perspective though, I don't understand why a business whose job it is to try to make money and stay in business and then provide for their employees and grow the business. I mean, that's kind of how I look at business. I don't know if some that's people- how businesses business. work. That's how they tend to work best. I don't know why a business would step in and say, hey, let's take this very, very controversial uh, uh, thing in the news and let's plant our flag in this thing. That's, that's just a bad idea. Yeah, and I get that people are passionate I about think. all sorts of You guys of might things. not agree with that. Well, you know, who cares what they think? Who cares? It's the same thing. We don't care about what Do they your put own on video. their business. Yeah. <laughs> but, it, it, but to your point, like, you're putting on, even if it wasn't something controversial, but you're leaning into something that's very clearly controversial and you're telling a bunch of people, we don't really want your business. Yeah. When you're dealing with something that's that controversial, people are, it's controversial because people are very passionate about it. So you're saying, hey, Jews, we don't want you here without saying no Jews allowed, which yeah. I suppose on the one hand, it annoys me and I don't understand that. On the other hand, as a Jew, would I feel weird giving them money if I didn't know that they were holding these anti-Semitic positions, and I later found out. You would, you would probably would be, feel regretful. Uh, you go, oh, yeah. I wish I would have spent my hard-earned dollar somewhere else. So is it possible? I so mean, in a way, I, it gives you kind yeah. of an insight into you know, where we spend our money. I'd we have a lot of options know. these days. Yeah, I'd rather not know, but I suppose in a world in which now I do know, I now know where not to shop, right? I wouldn't want to like shop there. Anytime a big company that I cannot avoid, you know, like you, you look at like your Amazons Costco. or Costco, uh, or targets, things like that. Anytime any of these companies like step in and say, hey, we're gonna like do something to but let like, you know where we come from. I just kind of roll my eyes and go like, Ugh, yeah. let's just, can you just do a business? Just do your business. Let me do my business. We don't have to, you know, I don't need to know everything that you think all the time. I don't want to know everything you think all the time. I don't care what you think. Yeah, I don't. I just want to be able to go there and buy my sneakers or whatever you get at Target or Costco. Actually, I get a lot of great stuff from Costco. I'm a big fan. On and on big about fan. Costco. Yeah. It's never going to stop. No, I love it. keep going. I love it. amazing Costco is. Oh, it's great. Like three gallons of mayonnaise for your kids. All no, all the that's time. a Just common misconception. Of course, no. now we can't even get any. But you can get the best deals peanuts. on oh, specific types of things at Costco. School. The great thing about Costco is oh, that they actually like weed on. out all the bad She's stuff, gonna stop. and then going, you can just buy the going, best going. stuff at Costco. They've already done oh the hard work gosh, for you. They found the best so products. Long. You go there, and that's what you get. Keep going. Just never. Are you done? I'm done. Great. So are we. We'll see you next time.